This is hi everyone, a remarkable video here as we look at really the blueprint. The closer you get to this position, the better you're gonna hit it. Now I've drawn like a, a shadow effect pre-impact position here. Let's have a look at Adam Scott. Have a look at the leg positions where he gets himself into. Now I've drawn up some numbers, we're gonna talk about this, but guys, this is how you hit a golf ball, pure. Now do you think he's gonna squeeze his way down into that position? And he does it, and he does it so easily, look at that. There's a massive amount of lateral movement and see the head moving down. We'll talk about that just in a second. McElroy absolutely identical on the other side. Watch this movement of McElroy. Huge lateral shift and moving into the golf ball. And to get that compression that you're after, to get the amount of shaft length, to free up your golf swing, get yourself in a good position, this is it. Now we have some numbers here. We've got two to four inches. What does that mean? Well, he's got two to four inches of head movement down so that you can hit it with a bent right arm, so that you can, you know, if you're getting that lag, if you're getting that shaft lane, you've, you've got to get down to the ball, right? So that's how the top players do it. If you're standing up tall, you're not going to have as much shaft lane. You can still hit it good from there. I'll show you that a little bit later on the video. Four to six inches of lateral movement is the tour average, you know, moving through the ball. Now, if you draw up a line, this is the stuff we show on worldclassgolf.com. Worldclassgolf.com partners with V1. This system that I'm using here is the V1 Home Studio. Watch this. Down and into that big lateral shift. And this V1 Home Studio, you can draw lines and angles. Incredible system. It's for $99 on worldclassgolf.com. So this position here, now when you get a, a bit of a look in at impact, because obviously it's a very, very important area. When we get a look at impact here and we draw a line up the shaft, we get a number. Right? And this number, you can get this on your mobile phones. Right? So we show you how to film. All great players film this with their mobile phones. Adam Scott films this with his mobile phone. His coach does. And Roy McElroy. The, the, everybody does it. But you've got, se you got 73 degrees there, right? Now what does that mean? Well, if I draw a line up here, that's 90. That, that's zero. So you can see the amount of shaft lean that they have uh, in at impact. So, and where's Adam Scott? He's going to draw a line up here. What have we got? 17 degrees. So s extremely similar positions. Right, now, if you can't quite get yourself into this position, I'm going to show you something really interesting coming up. Now, this position here, when you get your checkpoint, when the left hand's under the chin, it's a checkpoint. Right, you, draw, you see a lot of pros, most pros are around that area there with that. But you'll see them sometimes not as far down, but you won't see them hardly ever over a 20 degree angle. Now, there's, 20, there's a 20 degree angle. Now, this is really, really interesting. So, if you're looking at club players, they're losing this angle here too early and they're down into this area here and when you do that you touch the ground before you touch the ball so I'm going to show you now something really really interesting for a lot of your club players out there this is if you after online lessons check out craighansongolf.com guys don't forget to subscribe check out that uh, uh, we're sending a, a, quite a few videos out one to two a week now I'm going to show you something here hit that subscribe button hit the bell and I'm going to show you Jimenez here I'm going to draw a line up from the outside of his left leg. Now this guy doesn't really sink down. He only moves down about an inch. But what we're going to do is we just, I'll just make those yellow. I think it's a little bit easier to see. So just bear with me. I'm going to get there. Now this is an interesting one because a lot of the club golfers swing like this, right? So when they when they come down, you'll see him just drop a little bit, not much. But when he gets that hand sort of underneath that chin, which is about here, what you're going to see, you're going to see it at about an angle of about 20 degrees. Okay, now, if you're getting down into this part here, you're going to hit it fat. But if you've got 20 degrees and you're not up to this position here, which, which happens to millions of golfers around the world, you need a little bit more lateral movement. See how he's got three quarters of his leg through the wall? All right, so he's, he's moving a long way laterally. And the lateral movement will also help you get shaft lean and help you cover the ball. So that when you see when he hits it, you know, he's still got the same amount. Really, he's got 17 degrees there of shaft lane. So for a lot of golfers around the world, for a lot of club golfers, if you don't have the wrist angles, get a little bit more lateral movement. You're looking at swing characteristics here, matching up your styles to get you on the right you know, path to play your best golf. But, you know, to ask you a question. Do you know how much lateral movement do you have? Have you ever drawn a line up from your left ankle? And if you don't, you know, I mean, it's, it's a big problem for, for a lot of golfers out there. So what we're generally seeing for a lot of golfers is a big chance that you have this similar position. That when you're swinging through the golf ball here, or coming down I should say, when you get that left hand under your chin, I'll just, just, I'll just jump across a bit further, you're probably going to be seeing, see this angle here? 
Let's see if we get around 40, let's get it down the chart, 47 degrees. And from here, you know, you want to be able to get the club up to 20 at least and then get some lateral. Otherwise, you know, you're struggling with your contact and you're adding, see how the club's on the ground already? And we're, we're sort of adding artificial loft and it's, it's just going to flip it and, and you're just not getting the compressions, fats and thins. So by working on something consistently, getting yourselves in the right positions, like closer to these averages of movement, like to hit a golf ball straight, you know, to compress a golf ball out, you, you can't do it when you've just got your nice pants on and you, you know, you're doing a bit of practice. You want to get, we all want to reach our potential. So guys, have a look at World Class Golf Instruction. It's, it's a fantastic platform, a thousand videos on there. Check it if you want online lessons, plenty of drills and exercises, and partners now with V1 Golf, and we'll get you on the path of playing some absolutely fantastic golf.